How to use ChatGPT for hypothesis development? Hypothesis development. A hypothesis is a tentative assumption made in order to draw out and test its logical or empirical consequences. It acts as a starting point for research, providing a direction and focus. Effective hypotheses are specific, testable and relevant serving as a foundation for a structured inquiry. How to use ChatGPT for hypothesis development? Number 1. Idea generation. Brainstorming sessions. Begin by initiating a conversation with ChatGPT to generate a pool of ideas. Describe your research area and let ChatGPT propose potential hypotheses. The model's ability to understand context and generate diverse responses can spark novel concepts. For example, the research area is climate change impact on biodiversity. Number 2. Refinement of ideas. Clarifying concepts. Use ChatGPT to seek clarification on complex concepts related to your research. The model can provide simplified explanations, helping you refine and better articulate your initial ideas. For example, the research area is artificial intelligence in healthcare. Number 3. Literature Review Assistance Summarizing Literature Provide ChatGPT with a summary of your research area or specific papers. The model can help refine complex information into concise overviews, helping in identifying gaps in existing literature and refining your hypothesis. For example, the research area is cloud computing applications. Number 4. Formulating testable hypotheses. Attractive discussions. Engage in attractive discussions with ChatGPT to fine-tune your hypotheses. The model's capacity to understand context and adapt to your evolving ideas make it a valuable partner in the refinement process. For example, the research area is Social Media Impact on Mental Health. Number 5. Context Clarification for example, the research area is Sustainable Agriculture Practices. For example, I will say, I am investigating Sustainable Agriculture Practices. Can you help clarify the concept of agroecology? Here are some key points about agroecology, like ecological principles, biodiversity, soil health, local and traditional knowledge, and many more. Now, I will show you ChatGPT prompts for hypothesis development. On your internet browser, open ChatGPT site, chat.openai.com. This is the official site to access ChatGPT. Prompt for direct relational hypothesis. In this prompt, I will show you relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. For example, I will say, I propose a positive relationship between employee satisfaction, IV, and job performance, DV. Can you provide me with the hypothesis? Here is a hypothesis for your proposed relationship between employee satisfaction, IV, 
and job performance DV. This is null hypothesis. This is alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses suggest that in the null hypothesis, there is no effect or relationship between employee satisfaction and job performance. The alternative hypothesis states the opposite, suggesting a significant positive relationship between the two variables. Prompt for mediation hypothesis In this prompt, I will show you relationship between independent variable and dependent variable with mediating variable as a mediator. For example, I will say, I propose a positive relationship between leadership style IV and team productivity with communication effectiveness as a mediator. Can you provide me with the hypotheses? Here are the hypotheses for your proposed relationship between leadership style IV, team productivity DV, with communication effectiveness as a mediator. You can see the direct relationship hypotheses. You got the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses examine the direct relationship between leadership style and team productivity without considering the influence of communication effectiveness. Mediation hypotheses. Here you can see the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses specifically focus on whether communication effectiveness plays a significant role in mediating the relationship between leadership style and team productivity. Prompt for moderation hypothesis The moderating variable moderates the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. For example, I will say, I propose that team diversity moderates the relationship between employee training, IV, and project success, DV. Can you provide me with all possible hypotheses? Considering team diversity as a moderating factor in the relationship between employee training IV and project success DV, here are the hypotheses. You got the mean effect hypothesis, null hypothesis, and alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses explore the general relationship between employee training and project success without considering the impact of team diversity. Moderation effect hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses specifically address whether team diversity plays a significant role in altering or moderating the strength or direction of the relationship between employee training and project success. Considering the moderation hypotheses, further analysis would be aimed at understanding how variations in team diversity influence the relationship between employee training and project success. Prompt for indirect effect hypothesis The mediating variable has a significant indirect effect on the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. For example, I will say, 
I propose that organizational culture has a significant indirect effect on the relationship between leadership style IV and employee satisfaction DV. Can you provide me with the hypothesis for this indirect effect? In examining the indirect effect of organizational culture on the relationship between leadership style IV and employer satisfaction DV, the hypothesis for the indirect effect can be formulated as follows. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. This hypothesis aims to test whether organizational culture plays a significant role in mediating or influencing the relationship between leadership style and employee satisfaction. It investigates whether organizational culture indirectly affects employee satisfaction through its interaction with leadership styles. General prompt for multiple hypotheses. The prompt will be provide me with all possible direct and indirect hypotheses for the variables independent variable dependent variable and mediating variable. For example, I will say, provide me with all possible direct and indirect hypotheses for the variables team collaboration, project success, and knowledge sharing. Here are the possible direct and indirect hypotheses involving the variables, team collaboration, project success, and knowledge sharing. Direct hypotheses, team collaboration, and project success. The SQL code will be null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Knowledge sharing and project success. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. Indirect hypothesis, mediation. Team collaboration as a mediator. Null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Knowledge sharing as a mediator. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses explore both the direct relationship between the variables, team collaboration, knowledge sharing, and project success, and the potential mediating role of each variable in influencing the relationship between the others and project success. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.